उससे अनुकूला नमस्ते वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग इच वन ऑफ यू वॉर ज्वाइनिंग दिस लाइव ऑनलाइन योगा क्लास अगेन वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस लाइव योगा सेशन so before start our practice i would like to request all of you please prepare yourself for the prayer always start our class from prayer so sit comfortably in any sitting comfortable position meditation position both hands on the knees or on the thighs in a gyana mudra touch your tip of the toes or the thumb to the index finger and the rest of the finger straight and relax this is the gyan mudra on the turn palm upward the back and neck upright eyes gently close relax your whole body stop the all unnecessary movement of the body keep your body still and stable bring your awareness on your whole body try to aware about your whole body each and every parts of the body try to move or rotate your awareness from the top of the head to toes of the feet and relax each and every parts of the body if you have any discomfort any tension in any parts of the body concentrate your self on that particular part and try to relax this part of the body now become aware of your natural breath try to watch your natural moving breath feel your natural breath when you breathe in feel the coolness of the breath inside your nostril when you breathe out feel the warmness of the breath inside your nostril don't manipulate your natural breath just aware about your breath just watch your breath 
एज ए थर्ड पर्सन एज ए अनअटैच एटीट्यूड gradually your breath become slower rhythmic and deeper the breath is the important physiological process of our body so the nature of breath represents the state of your mind when you are quiet calm and absorptive your breath becomes slower rhythmic deeper and when your mind become agitated anger frustrated so your breath become taxed irregular irrhythmic shallow now slowly take a deep breath chant om kara in peaceful manner vibration of this omkara and this vaidik mantra so mantras so chanting or recitation of the mantras we create a positive attitude inside us with the chanting we pray to the almighty o oh god eliminate the all negativity all the toxins and inculcate the positivity vitality within us illuminate our intellect our senses towards the right is path slowly rub your both palm
and place it over the eyes. Open your eyes slowly inside your palm. So hopefully you can relax and calm. Today we will practice about some new asanas or we can see the other asanas. So today and pranayama also. So the first asana we learn, we practice in this yoga class is Shavasana. 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 Shav is a Sanskrit word which means a dead body. So in this posture, in this asana, our body <clears throat> resembles to the dead body and hence their name, Shavasana. This asana helpful to remove the fatigue physical fatigue as well as mental stress, tension and we can say this Savasana is helpful to remove or reduce the tension, fatigue, lethargy of the whole psychophysiological systems of the body. When you feel tired, physical as physical as well as mental, according to availability of time, you practice, you should practice this Shavasana and become fresh and tireless body. So this asana is helpful to remove, to reduce the fatigue in very short time, very short period, within the minutes or within five minutes for 10 minutes. So Shavasana is not a slip. When you slip, you also overcome the fatigue. But Shavasana is a conscious relaxation or a wakeful relaxation. You not fall asleep. You are conscious but relaxed. Each and every muscles of the body or the parts of the body gradually become relaxed when you practice this Shavasana. Practice is very simple. First, you lie down on your back in supine position. Hands besides the body, leg comfortably apart. Spine, neck and head should be in one line. Head not turn 
left or right should maintain in one line if you feel any discomfort any tension in any parts of the body so please move this part and relax stop the all movement of the body try to stop the all unnecessary movement of the body and the body become still and stable steady on the mat on the ground just feel your body merges with the ground now bring your awareness on your breath and few seconds to few minutes just aware about your breath natural breath just watch your inflowing and outflowing breath and also aware about your movement of your abdomen movement of your navel just watch when you breathe in your navel is slightly bulging up and when you breathe out your abdomen your navel is slightly shrinking down so each and every breath your abdomen moves synchronizing synchronically so just aware about your breath or the movement of your abdomen and after that you aware about your body parts just bring your awareness on the right side of the body and move your awareness one by one to each part of the body suppose bring your awareness on the right hand and move your awareness from the tip of the fingers the thumb index finger middle finger ring finger little finger palm back of the palm right wrist forearm right elbow right arm and relax the whole hands right hand and continue to aware about your right shoulder upper part of the shoulder back of the shoulder right shoulder right side of the trunk right chest right abdomen right upper back right lower back right buttock right thigh front of the thigh back of the right thigh side of the right thigh right knees calf ankle heel sole right big toes second toe third toe fourth toe fifth toe just repeat mentally and aware about that part and try to relax this part this body parts you feel slightly difference from the right part of the body to the left part of the body similarly rotate your awareness over the left part of the body and try to relax the body left hand the thumb index finger middle finger ring finger little finger 
left palm, back of the palm, left wrist, left forearm, elbow, arm, left shoulder, upper part of the shoulder, back of the shoulder, left chest, side of the trunk, left upper back, lower back, left side of buttock, left thigh, back of the thigh, top of the thigh, side of the thigh, left knee, left calf, ankle, left heel, left sole, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, whole left side, whole left side, whole left side, relax, relax, relax. Just repeat mentally the name of this part and try to relax the each part gradually. You feel your left body is merging with the ground. Now bring your awareness around your head region, top of the head, forehead, side of the head, back of the head, face, left eyes, right eyes, left eyebrow, right eyebrow, left ear, right ear, left temple, right temple, left cheek, right cheek, left nostril, right nostril, upper lips, lower lip, chin, front of the neck, side of the neck, back of the neck, whole head region is fully relaxed, relaxed, relaxed. So in this way, you feel a complete relax, complete relaxation of your body as well as your mind. And add something, when you repeat mentally and relax your body, then again you are aware about your breath and just count your breath from 20 reverse to 0. Just mentally count when you breathe in, count 20, breathe out 20, breathe in. 19, breathe out, 19, breathe in, 18, breathe out, 18. In this manner, you gradually reach the 1 and 0. This is the awareness program, program you know. 
you aware about your breath you aware about your body not fall in sleep so this is the conscious relaxation so when you complete or finish at least 5 minutes of the savasana in this way you feel a deep relaxation of your mind and body and become a fresh energetic and full of vitality so shavasana is one of the asana mentioned in our ancient yoga literature hatha yoga literature and the purpose is to relax our body and mind and remove the all fatigue all lethargy all tiredness from the body so hopefully you will practice and benefit it so this is shavasana you know. postures is very simple as i discussed as i described the method very simple now the next practice today is anulom vilom pranayama their name is anulom vilom means alternate nostril breathing earlier we have practiced the several types of preparatory pranayama practice and pranayama today again repeat this practice so sit comfortably either in sukhasana or the padmasana padmasana even vaj vajrasana also swastikasana siddhasana these are the sitting position for the meditation so their name is the meditative posture dhyanatmak asan so sit comfortably in sukhasana or any other meditative posture both hands on the knees in gyana mudra back straight neck and head upright gently close your eyes now assume a nasagra mudra by the right hand nasagra mudra how to perform this mudra so your ring finger place your ring finger and little finger over the left nostril the index and middle finger either place on the eyebrow center or fold as you comfortable and thumb place on the right nostril so this is nasagra mudra now aware about your breath press your thumb to close your right nostril and release the pressure of the ring finger and little finger and slowly and deeply inhale through the left nostril don't get tensed don't produce any sound during the inhalation or exhalation just inhale slowly 
and expand your chest, bulging your abdomen, raise your collarbone slightly. Now close your left nostril and release the thumb and open your right nostril and exhale very slowly and stable manner. Again breathe in through the right nostril. Bulge your abdomen, expand your chest, rest slightly your collarbone. After completion of inhalation, close your right nostril through the thumb and release the pressure of ring finger and open your left nostril and exhale slowly and comfortably. This is one round of Anulom Vilom Pranayama. Do this at least five rounds. For beginners, try to maintain the ratio of inhalation and exhalation equal or one is to one. Suppose you inhale with mentally five count, so you should exhale also with the mentally five count. So the ratio between the inhalation and exhalation should equal after repeat after finish the five round bring your hand on the knees and relax and try to feel the effect of this pranayam. So for the beginner, try to maintain the equal ratio among the inhalation and exhalation. And when you practice in this way for a week, one week or two weeks, so after two weeks, Try to maintain or the ratio between the inhalation and exhalation is 1 is to 2. Suppose you take time in inhalation for 5 seconds, so the exhalation take 10 seconds. So, just after a few weeks of continuity or continual practice, you change the ratio 1 is to 2. For the beginner, I advise don't retain your breath, don't do kumbhaka. Without kumbhaka, just you practice only the inhalation and exhalation in yogic term that is called the puraka means inhalation and rechaka means exhalation. So after continual practice of 15 days or one month, 
then you practice then you add the kumbhaka also but in some cases such as the person who are suffering from hypertension any cardiac problem heart disease vertigo epilepsy migraine headache dizziness should avoid the retention of breath either inside or outside or kumbhak not do kumbhaka only the raj purak and rajaka this pranayama helps to balance your nervous system especially the autonomic nervous system because autonomic nervous system maintain the most of the physiological acts in our body you know like respiration our digestion circulation so influences the all phys most of the physiological process of the body and there are two branches of autonomic nervous system or two limbs of autonomic nervous system the sympathetic part and parasympathetic part limb so sympathetic and parasympathetic both combinedly maintain the normal physiology of the body when your body need to cope up some unfavorable situation so parasympathetic in that condition the parasympathetic arousal in our body and some vital activities are increase increases you know like the breath breath rate increases heart rate pulse rate so this vital physiology become raised during the stress condition tension condition and some other unfavorable condition when this condition subside the sympathetic arousal slowly come down and parasympathetic arousal balance our body so we can say that the sympathetic arousal is just like a war period and the parasympathetic arousal is just like a peace period so this anulom vilom pranayama balance or harmonize between these two limb of autonomic nervous system and calm and calm your mind and this pranayama is also a best tranquilizer so today we have discussed we have practiced about the two yoga pra- yoga techniques what is the savasana and second is the anulom vilom pranayama tomorrow we will continue our practice and add some other practices you know yoga practices so please sit erect and prepare yourself for the peace mantra shanti mantra for all peace for all 
Inhale and chant Om, Omkara. sincere watching, sincere viewing.